Hey there, Angela Mosley here with Modern Fit Moms. I wanted to share with you my Fab Five for fat loss. Now, this is a method or a system, idea, whatever you want to call it, that I created when I was putting together the Empower Her program. And I was just talking to my girlfriend, and she helps me a lot with some of the back end stuff, and we were just talking about it, and she actually encouraged this idea, and I thought, how freaking genius. So if you've been following me for a while, you've been reading some of my stuff, you know that I focus on a holistic approach to fat loss. Now there is a difference between fat loss and weight loss, which we're not gonna cover today, but so today I'm talking about fat loss. And so there are so many different things that factor into boosting our metabolism and burning fat that we don't think or we miss out on when going into a plan for ourselves. And so that's where the Fab Five came into play because I truly believe that there are certain areas that impact, well, I, not I believe, I know because I've studied this stuff and I know how it works for my clients, for my members and myself on how it affects our metabolism and especially for somebody who has a weight loss goal. So I want to share with you the Fab Five so that maybe you'll consider incorporating some of these habits into your day as you create your fat loss plan if you do have a goal to lose some fat, tone up, and um, lean out your body. All right, so number one is sleep. So prioritizing our sleep. When we do not get good quality sleep or when we're lacking sleep, this actually increases the hunger hormone, which is ghrelin, and this can then in turn increase cravings the following day, specifically for high carbohydrates, as well as sugar and processed foods. And so that's why it's very important that we get good adequate amounts of sleep but also too, because our bodies burn more fat at rest. And so the more rest we can get and recover, the more our body gets better at burning some of that fat. So one of the five fab is making sure that you go to bed at the same time every single night. Now I know that some of you might be dealing with um, little ones that are not quite on a good schedule yet. So make it around the same time, right? And this is not the only habit that you can do to improve your sleep. This is just the first one to start with because I find that it's the easiest to master and then there are so many other habits that you can do to improve sleep quality. Number two is stress, so managing your stress. When we are stressed out, that cortisol increases and it's a chronic cortisol state of mind, I guess you would call it, we um, then tend to store more um, abdominal fat. And so this increases that storing of the abdominal fat and it also increases our desire and cravings, like our lack of sleep, for carbs, for highly processed foods, and for sugars and sweets. And so we need a good healthy balance of cortisol in our bodies, because cortisol is a good thing to have, but when it is constant and we are constantly stressed, this is not good for our bodies. So one of the habits for the five, Fab Five is focusing on our stress levels. And so just by taking five to 10 minutes a day, whether that is writing out a grateful journal or reading the Bible or fueling your mind with something positive Positive through a podcast or an audible book, or simply taking five minutes to meditate or five minutes to do your diaphragmatic breathing, this can significantly impact and reduce your stress levels. So this would be habit number two. So of course you would choose one to incorporate into your day, five to 10 minutes. Who doesn't have time for that? All right, number three is moving 30 minutes every single day. So now I do not promote working out every single day, all right? But I do encourage most days of the week to make some more intense movement. And then on the days that you're not, you don't have a planned workout, I'm encouraging you to move at least 30 minutes a day, especially if you sit at a desk all day. The movement that we do outside of our workouts accounts for about 250 up to 450 calories burned. So if we're not moving throughout the entire day, we're reducing the amount that our bodies are burning, which could result in a weight gain or a weight maintenance if you, again, if your goal is fat loss. And so you can break it up. So if it's a rest day for you, break it up. 10 minutes of movement in the morning, 10 minutes at lunch, 10 minutes um, after dinner. This can look like a walk. It can look like taking the stairs. The more you move, the better, such as household chores. Maybe you take 10 minutes to clean up the house. That counts as 10 minutes of movement. And so the goal, like I said, whether you are intentionally working out or you're just moving throughout the day, make sure that you aim for 30 minutes of movement, of course, as long as it's okay with your doctor. 
And then number four is four glasses of four tall glasses of water. We need to be drinking more water. Our body is made up about 65 to 75% of water. And water is very important for weight loss because it helps to reduce and eliminate some of those toxins inside our body. It helps to rehydrate. It helps to reduce aging. It helps us to sleep better. Water is just so good for us overall. So we need to make sure that we're drinking more water. And then of course, number five, we've got two things for number five, and that's four palms of protein and two fists of veggies. And so now this is just for the general population. Please make sure that you talk with your doctor to make sure of what your nutritional needs are. But this is my baseline of where I like to start women at. Protein is um, higher in the fact that it helps the body to burn more calories just to digest it than any other macronutrient. Not only that, but it keeps us fuller longer and it keeps us satisfied. So the afternoon craving that you're having when you get home from work and you feel rushed, you eat that box of Cheez-Its. If you have a protein before you make it to that mark, you might not crave those Cheez-Its like you normally would. And then of course, the two fists, the pro, or two fists, the vegetables are very beneficial because they're full of fiber. They most of the time are full of water as well, which gives you more hydration and it's low calorie, but high in nutrients. And I find that most women are not eating enough protein and we're not eating enough vegetables. And now it goes beyond just the protein and the vegetables, but this is a great start to do without following some crazy strict meal plan without doing, um, you know, counting every single calorie. I, I can't promise you, but I can bet that if you followed these five habits, that you would be well on your way to finding results that you're looking for. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the Empower Her program, make sure you check the link below for our next round is happening in May of 2024. We continue to run these about two to three times per year. I hope that was helpful and I can't wait to share more with you.